Stan Gibalisco here. I'd like to show you a way to test a bipolar transistor using a simple DC ohmmeter. Now there are a couple of things about this ohmmeter that you need to know before you try to use your ohmmeter to do these tests. First of all, it, in the ohmmeter mode it has to produce enough voltage at, at its test leads to overcome the forward breakover voltage of the PN junctions within the transistor. Remember an NPN transistor in this case has N type semiconductor material here at the emitter, P type at the base, and uh, and again N type at the collector. So what you have here basically is the base is a an anode that's common to these two cathodes so you can think of another arrow here in this symbol pointing out like that electrons can only flow against the arrows so I will show you the results that you should expect when you use your DC ohmmeter assuming that it has sufficient voltage to overcome this forward breakover six tenths of a volt or thereabouts and assuming you have determined for sure which of the leads in your ohmmeter emits the electrons and which one takes them in. The one that takes them in is in effect like a little positive battery terminal and the one that ejects them or releases them is like a little negative battery terminal. And it's not, they don't always correspond to the red and the black leads in your meter. So you must always check, you must always test your ohmmeter to make sure you know from where the electrons are emerging and into where they are going. I found that the red lead in my meter actually is negative in the ohmmeter mode and the black lead is positive. So when the thing is used to generate current, its polarity is exactly reversed compared to when you measure current. However, that's not true of all meters. You must test your own. So take an NPN transistor. I got a 2N222 from Radio Shack to do these tests. And here are there are six different ways you can connect these two leads to the three um, terminals of the transistor. Here's the first way. The negative lead to the emitter, the positive lead to the base, you should see conduction. That is to say a few ohms, it doesn't matter how many. If you reverse them though, so that the positive lead of your meter goes to the emitter and the negative to the base, you should not see conduction. Your ohmmeter should show infinity and in fact with my test that is what I got. Test number three, between the base and the collector. When you connect the negative lead to the collector, electrons should be able to flow through like this, and you should see a few ohms indicating conduction on your meter. Test number four, just swap the leads and you should see no conduction, infinity ohms. Electrons cannot easily flow through this PN junction with the arrow like that. In fact, they can't at all. Another caveat, your transistor must not be connected into any circuit when you do these tests. It must be all by itself because when you are biasing a transistor for amplification, you may see conduction between the emitter and the collector. Well, that's what the next test is and you shouldn't see any conduction in either direction between the emitter and the collector when the transistor is simply sitting out all by itself with all of its leads free. So once again let's go back. I'm writing a new book by the way and these figures are from that book the title of which I shall not at this time disclose but you can tell it's figure 7-18 right? DC ohmmeter shows conduction from the emitter to the base that's electron current but not the other way around. Shows conduction from the collector to the base, electron current, but not the other way around. And won't conduct either way between the emitter and the collector. So those are the tests. You can, if you get a transistor and you test it and you know that your meter produces enough voltage, 
and you know that you've determined the, co the polarity correctly and you do not get these results, then chances are that your transistor has burned out. Stangibalisco signing off. Until next time, so long. <laughs>